Are you having a good day or a bad day? Meaning a good day, you can get out of bed, you can actually do something, you have little energy, not so many headaches, just a couple body pains and struggles. Um, and you can somehow yeah, get over the day or through the day. Uh, while a bad day is just awful, you can barely, barely get out of bed, no energy, pain everywhere, throat pain, headaches, migraines, um, pack in the, pain in the back, um, whatsoever, what's so on, um, you, dizziness, um, struggling to see, focusing, uh, lack of focus, uh, brain fog and so on and so forth. Don't give up, you can do it. I'm now uh, yeah, four months within a very acute and uh, not cute, very um, yeah, heavy EBV, Epstein-Barr virus um, infection. And um, you always have to keep in mind two things. First or half of the battle is knowing what you have. So once you found that out, what you have, whether it's Epstein-Barr shingles, streptococcus and many, many others of the so-called autoimmune disorders, diseases, just by knowing this, you already have a way there. The other half is not giving up, keeping to your plan, to your therapy, to your healthy food supplements, um, going outside, taking sun, uh, being active as far as possible and just sticking to the plan. They are always major setbacks. Uh, that you are going through and that you have to get through this. They will push you away, push you back, but you just have to get through this. There's no other way. And just by knowing this, that you stick to the plan, keeping, um, yeah, just following, following your routine, taking supplements and everything I just mentioned, just this is what you have to hold on to in order to feel um, yeah, better and, and better and just um, heal with the time, take your time to recover and um, yeah, don't give up, don't give up, that's all I can say. All to, have a good day, all to you.